informatics at the primary level, then Timoy White's YouTube channel is for you. Are you having challenges understanding mathematics? Then Timoy White's YouTube channel is for you. Are you doing mathematics at the tertiary and CAPE level? Then Timoy White's YouTube channel is definitely for you. Are you studying mathematics at the secondary level? Then, Timoy White YouTube channel is for you. Are you studying mathematics at the tertiary level? Then, if so, Timoy White YouTube channel is definitely for you. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Of the parallel line P, Q, and R, S. These parallel lines are intersect or cut by a transversal A, B. Now, where a transversal intersect a parallel lines, angles are formed. One of the angle relationship that is formed is what we call alternate angles or Z angles, right? Now, if you note here that the line segment Q, E, and E, F, along with F, R, creates a Z. So these angles are what we call alternate angles. And one thing that you can note about these two angles they are equal so in other words we are saying that alternate angles are always equal right now there is another z that is there if you don't hear from p to e down to f to s then you have another z which means that this angle here, which is angle P E F is equal to angle E F S, right? And let me show you. So these two angles measure have the same measure, a measure of 110 degrees, and they are called alternate angles, right? Now these angles are formed when you have a pair of parallel lines being intersected by a transversal as you can see here. That both angles are equal. Both angles has a measure of 60 degrees, right? As you can see here, right? What if I keep point B fix and I move point A what would happen if I move point A then you notice if I move it until it is perpendicular then both angles are still alternate both of them will equal to 90 degrees in this case if I continue Note that despite the position of the transversal, both angles are still alternate to each other. It's just that they have a different measurement based on where the transversal is, right? So in this case, they have a measure of 120 degrees. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.